chilly out. We're in the mountains right now. Can you see? Oh yeah, Cabela's is over there. Don't know how well you can see that with this, but uh, that place is ginormous. The Boston Scream Donut we got in here. It's not Boston Cream, it's Boston Scream. But this is why you leave early for these things. I don't even know what, what kind of shenanigans are up front. It's all backed up over there. I have no idea, you know, what town I'm in, so not worried about it. The deals will still be there. So 8.59, place opens up in one minute and it's right there. I don't know how I could have possibly cut it any closer. The line for this is enormous. Look at this line, I don't know if you guys can really appreciate that. This thing is. Yeah, we're wrapped around the building. Alrighty, so got a little stack here going. Nice, uh, like I said, I like the vintage stuff. Nice uh, vintage Red Wing shirt. Probably the late 90s, I bet. Pretty neat thing. I think last year was the first year Red Wings missed the playoffs in like 18 or 20 years, so in that regards. Went to, the, went to the brick rack, didn't find anything, so. Um, take a quick in over there. They used to have a bunch of hats, no more. All right, so picked up what? One, two, three, like six or seven shirts here. Some sweatshirts, nice uh, Tennessee sweatshirt, heavyweight. So nice haul here. I know I've been getting a lot of sales for that. There's a nice Pyrex bowl behind the counter that I'm going to be buying. I think it's the bullseye variation, so very happy about that. It doesn't have a lid, but I mean, it is what it is with that. Uh, before we go to next store, I came back over here. They just put this out. It's two bucks, so it's on sale for a dollar. These are very good at the flea market during the spring and summer. You get five, ten apiece, so I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to get that. No wood boxes, but there's lots of wood stuff here. Oh, oh. this thing's pretty neat. No, it's not that heavy. It's 50 cents. Nice pieces here. This looks like that uh, haul stuff from Mary Dump Kobe. I, okay, it's not haul or Mary Dump bar. So we'll check out, go to the next door. Oh. 
the Duke. So it's got a lot of snag marks on it, but for a college kid, it is actually a vintage one. I could probably get 12 or 15 in about a month, so it's only $2. I'll get that. Got a couple things, not much. Westchester shirt. Staying on the back. Hot oh, armpits though. Eh. A little dirty for me, so I'm going to pass that up. There's some stains, right? Like belly stains and stuff like that. People can tolerate, but uh, armpit stains are never good. Bowl, but uh, speed up on the other side. It's nice. Wow, those things heavy. Four bucks. Hmm. Decisions. I'm going to pass on it. They're big at the flea market, but I don't think I'll get more than five for it. So they are expensive when you get new. When this thing right here is expensive. But uh, this uh, crack in it, that kills it completely. All right, last thrift store of the day. See if I find any treasures here. Some nice depression glass. Probably longer burger over there. Jeff Gordon. Nope. Oh, that's nice. Look at vintage. That's yeah, an old one. Here's the electronic section. Lots of these. We got a traffic jam. <laughs> this is uh, just cardboardish. This is pretty neat. Wow, it's cast iron, I think. Oh, 1988. They have like a whole baby section over here. It's unusual. Yeah. Alrighty, not much here, but uh, stay tuned, we'll do the recap. Let's do it. Alrighty, back with a recap. As you see, there are a lot of clothes here. I got some other brick brack. I know a lot of people have been saying, why do you pick up so much clothes? This is what I do full time for a job. I sell clothes. So that's why whenever you come across you know, my videos and you see I pick up a lot of clothes and it's predictable, it's because this is what I specialize in. This is what I do as a full time job. Um, so that's why. So I'll go through it quickly. 
I know I've said briefly about what I usually get for them. I have about 450 items on Etsy right now. I sell, given that it is the fall season, I sell anywhere from about two to eight items a day. I know uh, recently, the last weekend on Monday, I didn't ship out on Saturday. So I had Saturday orders and Sunday orders into Monday. I had 39 items sold on Etsy. Well, 39 orders. I had something like 45 sales because some people picked up two or three sweatshirts. In that regards, it was a very, very busy weekend. It took me about four hours, maybe four and a half hours to pack everything up because obviously I had to find it. And uh, need to replenish inventory. So here we are. Youngstown State hoodie, nice vintage Detroit Red, Red Wings t-shirt. Hockey season's uh, just started up, so this is probably going to be going on shortly. Jägermeister, Marine Corps, Chattanooga, Tennessee Chattanooga, the Mox. This is my first Tennessee Chattanooga shirt I've ever come across, so pretty cool to find that. Ghostbusters t-shirt, Tennessee Volunteers crew neck, Gators, Maryland Terps, nice vintage Terp, uh, Notre Dame, uh, Fighting Irish sweatshirt. These uh, big name football schools are pretty good to find. Green Bay Packers, another Packers, Westchester, and uh, here's one cool thing I thought was really neat. I thought this was really cool. Like I said, I love the vintage stuff. This is kind of like a shark tooth design, I believe it's called. If you ever come across a shark tooth design hats, they do so very well. Uh, Atlanta 96, the Olympics. Bud Light jacket. It was six bucks. It wasn't on sale, but this thing is sweet. I think I would love to wear it, but I don't know. The '90s design on me doesn't look right, unless it's kind of like a sweatshirt. This stuff would be a little bit outrageous. If I was still in college, this Bud Light jacket, I can sell this to my friends. I know somebody would buy this off me. Um, but probably gonna be an eBay piece, maybe an Etsy piece. The red, white, and blue stuff is always good to find. If you sell it around the the Olympics. You get a nice premium. Duke basketball, Ohio State, Temple, vintage Pittsburgh Steelers, Clemson, NYPD t-shirt, Pennsylvania State Police, Arizona Wildcats. This is a nice soft Coors Light t-shirt. It's not vintage. It's just an overall nice t-shirt. Penn State football. Uh, another one of these Eagles sweatshirt in the Kelly Green design. Probably four weeks ago, I had one on my site, and somebody asked me about it. That one sold probably before I even posted the video. The next one, I, I showed another one similar to this. It was gray, and that one sold like a day after I posted the video. So this will probably sell shortly. It was only two bucks, so happy about that. New York State Fire Department sweatshirt, crew neck. LSU Tigers, Nike, uh, Nike black crew neck. Nice vintage Broncos t-shirt, huge logo. And uh, that's really cool. Lafayette College and Green Bay Packers. So definitely a nice haul with uh, clothing. Um, if you like vintage clothing, you like the nostalgia factor, always come across some cool things. Other pieces I picked up, this really cool uh, birdhouse. So actually there's something I noticed. There's someone who actually watches my videos who goes to auction. He actually said what's up to me the other week. Him and his wife. And I do remember they always bought birdhouses at auctions. And they pay like 10 or 15 bucks for four or five. So, which I thought was kind of a premium. But, I mean, these things do sell very well at the market. Something like this, kind of outrageous. I expect to get five or 10 bucks for it. I only paid a dollar, it was on sale. It's really cool, nice design. But, definitely a cool thing. Pyrex, as you know, I do pick up a lot of Pyrex stuff. Here's a Pyrex lid, 49 cents, can't beat it. And a Pyrex bowl. This is, I believe, the Cosmo Cosmopolitan. 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 Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But uh, that's that design. It's also known as the bullseye design. I think uh, sometimes they have a different name on the bottom. This one says Pyrex. I think the other one's Pyrex by something or Sultan or, or something else. There's something about it. Kind of has like a 70s vibe to it. Uh, I think it is a promotional, promotional piece. Only three bucks. I picked this up at the one place which always has one or two unique Pyrex pieces. I actually give this to my friend who's building her collection. She has a very nice collection, and one of these days I'll actually do a video of that collection because I think anyone who collects stuff can really appreciate something so, you know, so beautiful, I guess you can say. 
Um, but I will be giving her this. I don't think she has that piece. A lot of the rare, one of a kind, only came out for one or two years, are hard to find, especially around here. And there's just so many out there. So it's going to her collection. She'll probably enjoy it, uh, as with a lot of the other pieces. If you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed treasure hunting and picking and uh, thrift storing, make sure to check out my other videos if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace!